And she's done just that. Yelena Ostapenko has beaten Karolina Pliskova on the last couple of occasions. Is she going to make it three in a row? The Czech incandescent. She's down a set here. out there by Jean. See what our umpire says. Oh, looks like it's in. Oh, Jean having a very close look at it. I think Jean, when she made the mark, was quite dismissive. Ah. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Oh, it's being questioned here. 30, 15. Our umpire stands firm. Seen enough to suggest that it's clipped the line. Zhang is now saying, I think, to replay the point. Zhang is not impressed, and a few words as well. Well, when well, I thought you were already. Shao Lu, her coach. I think it's okay. Enough. It's enough. It's enough. Well, this is this is not really needed. Coach getting animated. Not sure that's really a good idea. Got to let the umpire umpire. 
Clearly, though, not impressed. Shao Lu. And par overalls. Point will be replayed. Well, that's interesting because. Time you hit the ball, for me, it didn't have any impact on your hit. That's why I'm awarded the point. Magda Linette has been awarded the point. I understand you. Well, at least the corner is saying that clearly the, the call, the overall, and the call. She's got I a point, you know. The point, I say, but as I already explained you, for me, his call didn't have any impact on your hit. Otherwise, I will replay the point. The ball was initially called out at the same time, really, as Elise Corner made contact with the ball. That's her point. So she pulls out of the strike of the tennis ball. I'm part over rules. He also says that the call had no impact on Magda. Go. Yeah, no problem there. It In the end. It's up against a player outside the uh, top 60 today in Vedosa. Well, number 62 at the moment, the Spaniard. Her best ever ranking, actually. Well, you got to uh, don't move your flag here, says Kade Nuni. There we go. Well, that's another stunning return, but I'm not sure if this has stayed in. See, making her way back to the chair. Sakari really arguing the case here. What happened was that Sakari's return drifted out, but the call was late. And Goff, in Sakari's opinion, had already gone to play the points. So the point should be replayed. But one part not agreeing. here might be best advice just to let this go umpire is not going to change her mind and all it's going to do is just frustrate Sakari well she needs to be careful as well can't be getting too sarcastic and well I don't think I need to say anything after that that's what Sakari feels new racket definitely needed bottom line though after all of that is Goffers hold serve off lead Sakari four games to one. And again, very steady setup to each four. Je Lina. So she needs a new. Rack it after that. Another bounce, hard bounce on. And finished off immaculately. A lovely slice backhand. Short angle from the pole. Fine first set from her today. Session was good. We play the point.
Oh, lucky break for Kudamets over there. She was way too casual with the shot at the net. And Pera just got over that baseline. Or did she? Has it caught the line? It's ruled in. Well, could have been now getting her phone. Well, that's not surprising. I mean, surely she's going to get a warning for taking her phone out onto court. I guess keep an eye on the Kudamatova socials. Check her Instagram or Twitter because there may be a photo coming at some point so we can actually see what this debate is really about and how close these marks are. Kudamatova is not going to play. The supervisor is going to come. Incidentally, whilst we wait for the supervisor, this match has gone on. Ah, so we're not going to wait for the supervisor anymore. Kilometer does indeed get the warning. And it's for the phone. Pera was asking if it was for time, but it's a warning for her phone. Oh no, we're not checking more marks. <laughs> 